how can thyroid disease affect your eye health? Now, of course, there's Graves' disease that people have some eye issues. Uh, sometimes people call it like bug eyes, where their eyes are kind of, the muscles contract and they look like the eyes are kind of popping out of their head a little bit. And a lot of people have Graves have that situation, no. But what I want to talk to you guys about is the lesser known effects of hypothyroidism or autoimmune thyroid processes and how that can affect vision. So first let's talk about low thyroid or hypothyroid, primary hypothyroid. Now what happens in low thyroid is the metabolism has slowed down, right? We have a slower metabolism, sometimes weight gain, sometimes there are cold sensations, the hands, the feet. Uh, we often see the hips are a little bit wider compared to, to the waistline. Uh, that's pretty cardinal. And also one of the other signs we see with low thyroid is the outer thirds of the eyebrows start to thin out. So those markers, uh, or indicators rather, that there are some thyroid stuff. And of course, looking at things like your TSH, lab levels, uh, you want to check that. So what happens? If you have low thyroid, you've been diagnosed with this functionally or medically, what this means is your metabolism is slower and you're not burning fat, right? Those of you guys with low thyroid know that. You have a slower metabolism, which is going to mean you have a 25% higher chance of developing conditions like age-related macular generation, specifically the accumulation of drusen because your fat metabolism is, uh, is compromised because your metabolism is low. So there's going to be a more of a tendency to create drusen and these fats that deposit under the eyes. So that's the first. The second is autoimmune thyroid conditions. So autoimmune thyroid like Hashimoto's is very common when it comes to other autoimmune conditions. And we know that there are retinal and optic nerve autoimmune conditions as well. And sometimes these happen together simultaneously. So if you have Hashimoto's and you're dealing with things like eye dry eyes or wonky vision or anything like that, it may be rooted in your thyroid dysregulation. So look into that. If you have any more questions about that, or you or somebody you know has some thyroid issues who are experiencing vision-related issues, we may want to look into that a little bit deeper. Dr. Andy Rosenfarb here. Your vision is our mission. See you soon.